Hey, speaking of, get this, both the U of A women's basketball team and the men's squad are gearing up for showdowns against top 10 programs as the Oregon schools get set to hoop it up against the Wildcats. And worrying about a win isn't the only thing on the minds of a couple players, female and male, who are from Australia, a country seeing record-breaking temperatures and wildfires. David Kelly joins us with more. Fueled by drought and what is being called the hottest and driest year on record, the continent of Australia has been on fire since September. It's a situation that is hitting home for two Arizona basketball players, Josh Green, who hails from Sydney, Australia, and Tara Manu Maliunga from the interior northern Aussie state of Queensland. Well, my family are fortunate enough to be in an area right now where the fires haven't affected yet. Um, but I mean, it's the beginning of summer and there's still three more months left. Um, so that's a bit scary. My friends in Sydney have evacuated their homes. It's very unfortunate right now. You know, uh, you know, I'm trying to do as much as I can from my from where I'm at right now. But uh, you know, it's sad. Sad indeed. And to make matters worse, unlike the United States, where right now it is winter, January is the heart of summer in Australia. You know, in Australia, there's still. Uh, about three more months of summer, so who knows what it can do. All of it's totally devastating to hear, you know, how much land we've lost, how many animals are being killed. Like, there's been half a billion animals killed and a lot of land's gone, so I mean, it's devastating to hear. The fire is about 20 minutes from out from where I live, so I know a lot of my friends and uh, my family, you know, they have like their hoses ready and sandbags ready. And Josh Green adds his friends and family are also ready to evacuate if necessary, but hopefully it will not come to that. I'm David Kelly, News 4, Tucson. Hey, thanks a lot, David. The people of, of Australia continue to be in our thoughts and our prayers. We'll be right back with more on the U of A women's matchups this weekend against number three, Oregon State and number two, Oregon.